guys, Unnerved Gaming here. I am bringing you an FN or Nines deck with IG88, Elite IG88. Playing against a Poe Maz deck. Uh, obviously, this is a Hyperloop deck. Uh, everybody's talking about the Hyperloop and how uh, bonkers it is, and it is certainly good. Um, <clears throat> this is the first time playing the IG88 FN deck, which I'm calling Contract Acquired. Uh, definitely in this game made a few play mistakes. We're rolling out here. I'm not going to win the battlefield. That's just the nature of it. This deck can play around that pretty well. Uh, probably should make note that, you know, hindsight's always good to, to go back and watch your games. It's definitely something that I recommend if you're, if you're playing the game a lot, always good to record. Even if you're not going to content create like, a, like I am here, you can, uh, go out and, uh, kind of see what you did, good or bad. So in retrospect, looking back at this game, I saw a lot of mistakes that I think could be corrected. Uh, and, and, you know, that just comes with uh, inexperience with the deck. Like here, when I rolled the holdout blaster out, I should have resolved the one. I couldn't have gotten a better result. I still had the ambush action, which meant I could actually have played the ascension gun. But even before playing the holdout blaster, I should have played the ascension gun, rolled it, uh, then played the holdout blaster, rolled it. And the reason being is because, just like here, IAG's got special showing. And when he's got special showing, you can get a yellow equipment or uh, weapon from your discard pile for two less. So the Ascension Gun could have gone on to IAG for free. And instead, I lost a whole turn of tempo uh, with that Ascension Gun stuck on FN, which is not where I want it. And I spent the last half of my opening turn, he, he thermal detonators me right out of the gate, which is... Um, I wasn't expecting that. I honestly thought, okay, he got the special. He had the three resources. He was going to get two resources off the Falcon, then play the Falcon with Poe and uh, get the loop set up right away. And instead, it didn't really happen quite that quickly. However, you'll see he sets it up on the next turn pretty big as well. Um, so anyways, I was just saying, like, at the end of it all, I, I, I should have put the Ascension Gun out first, rolled it, tried to get some damage off of it. If I didn't get damage off it, roll the IG, because Ascension Gun's also got um, a special side, and it's also got a... Um, it's got a focus side, so I could, even if it rolled focus and I didn't resolve with the FN, I could have focused a, an IG into three damage, done a variety of different plays here, and then put the holdout blaster on top of it, getting the ascension gun into the discard pile where IG could chew it up to a special, get it back out, and then I'd had two upgrades on the field instead of just the one I played with through most of this game. Uh, again, first game, with, first time with the deck, I'm actually pretty happy with uh, some of the things it's doing. Uh, I've got just enough removal in it with things like He Doesn't Like You. Unpredictable is really a removal card, but against Poe, Maz, it's tough because they, they've they got, uh, you know, the hit and run shenanigans, and uh, I've got He Doesn't Like You's, but again, all that requires me to have dice in the pool, and uh, if you don't have the dice in the pool and playing against a fast deck like Poe, Maz, you just kind of have to just stay cool because it can get a little frustrating and the easiest way for me to suggest to anybody to get around that is uh is just staying patient doing what you can do and so when you're if you're watching the game right now like i'm trying to get fn to roll a resource he's a one in six chance i resolved the the ascension gun because I wanted to do the damage uh, and then I'm going to re-roll once again trying to get more damage out instead I roll the two shields for one resource um, I just didn't get the things going for me that I needed to get going for me and so you know these are just kind of how things work out at times ultimately um, you know I, I basically did five damage to Finn I don't or to Poe excuse me I don't think that's a, a bad start against it. I think against the Poe Maz deck, you want to go after Poe. Uh, I'm not sure everybody agrees with me on that, but uh, I find that if you get Poe off the board in this matchup, uh, there's a lot less scary things to do. So he knew hopes here. I knew it was going to come. And uh, I've played this card a ton of times, and I never get the U-Wing Falcon. And here he is getting the U-Wing Falcon for two resources, which is just awesome. Uh, I love seeing that happen. It, uh, it gives me hope that there's still a place for new hope in the meta. Um, here's another mistake for me. I, I dropped the Ascension Gun for the Riot Control where I have a, a blaster, a two-costing blaster in my hand. I could have rolled the blaster out 
it had three sides. Two of them are modified sides. I wouldn't have resolved it necessarily, but I would have been able to roll IG, maybe get some more damage and push a, a higher uh, ceiling of damage output. Um, and the Ascension Gun would still be where it needs to be. Now I've got this, this blaster in kind of an awkward place where I can't actually play it because I need the resources. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure how to, to move forward with that other than I'm going to um, put out the flamethrower on top of the, the riot control. And you may be asking why I would do that. Well, I actually like flamethrower better than riot control. And, and it's just simply because it's got a, a little more damage. Um, and it's got a le one less blank, which is a big deal. Um, you know, I, I think they're both kind of average weapons for their cost. And I know the reroll on the the riot blast, the riot baton is nice, but uh, you know, I mean, if you can roll that four damage side with that that uh, flamethrower for one resource, your opponent has to respect that for sure. And even if you don't, um, you know, one damage to every character is is not great but it's still two damage output so it's really doing at a minimum of two damage to everything you know to a to a character or to all the characters in the play unless you're close you're going against palpatine and then it's it's a little weak but uh that's a different video to talk about palpatine um so in this case like i'm gonna roll ig uh, i'm gonna hope for some damage i've got a he doesn't like you in hand i've got the disrupt side showing on the flamethrower which i can't do anything with but he's got a falcon and he's got a ewing so he's gonna roll the falcon and i'm gonna he doesn't like you that falcon died i don't want to set the loop up i don't want uh anything to happen where um you know falcon is incredibly brutal uh if if the loop starts to fire so you know, I only have enough tools to um, to mitigate the Falcon so many times, and and so you just kind of have to go. Okay, well, I I'm not worried about the Ewing. It it does damage. It's definitely not a fun card to play against, but uh, it's it's not as scary as the Falcon in the loop uh, side of things. So I you got to save that mitigation. Save your electroshocks when it rolls a special side automatically. When it rolls. Uh, you know, on the on one of the sides where you can electroshock it, use the electroshocks first. Save your he doesn't like he's for the sides that uh, don't work out uh, for electroshock, and uh, that's really all you can do. If you're playing a three character deck, of course, flanks can come in to help you there too. Um, but you just got to keep your cool around the Falcon. It's it's just a card combo that. Um, you know, I, I've I've beat it a number of times, and I've lost to it a number of times too. It's just a tough combo to play against but uh, ultimately my goal here is to push Finn down if I can uh, which I'm able to do quite a bit of damage with uh, FN here uh, I then discard a fight dirty to re-roll I'm looking for more damage output off of these guys um, and again here's that blaster kind of being awkward um, I can't play it uh, I just did two damage there uh, I'm pushing Finn upwards. He's getting close to death, but I'm going to keep re-rolling to try to get the last bit of squeak the last bit of damage out of this deck. Um, there's the last damage I need to do to Finn, so I can resolve the flamethrower. That's going to kill Finn, I think, or a Poe, excuse me, geez, uh, and do one to Maz, and then I got three damage remaining to shoot Maz in the face. So I've got Maz at health, half health. So this was a good round, good turn for me. He, my opponent set up a U-wing and a Falcon. And uh, I was able to take Poe out of the mix, which is a help for sure, because the extra damage a Poe can sling around is not something to be trifled with at all. Um, so I get my hand here and I'm looking and I'm going, OK, well, at least my backup muscle is a card that puts Maz on the clock. If, I, if, if I've got to go long with, um, you know, hyper looping. Uh, then this is the way I want to go along with hyperlooping. I want to go along with it in terms of he's going to roll the Falcon. Um, if you know he's going to try to get resources off Maz, he's going to resolve into specials. So you know I'm going to replace it with another flamethrower just because if I can get the four damage here off this flamethrower, I just win right here because I ca I have the resources. Flamethrower rolls four, resolve for one, Maz is dead, and that's the game. But I don't get it. So I get a I think I get a resource here i don't remember what it was actually but um he's he's getting excited about resolving and i have the ability from fn to still resolve so 
Um, I, I resolve the resource. He discards three cards. He gets uh, everything but my backup muscle, which is exactly the card I wanted to keep. As much as I want tactical masteries and electroshocks and stuff to fight the Falcon, um, you know, you, you in this particular matchup with Maz so close to death, backup muscle is key here. Uh, he's, I, I don't have any rerolls this turn now, which is fine. Uh, he's going to go ahead and strategic planning, which is awesome. I think it's strategic plan. No, it's not strategic plan. And I, I forget which that card is. It's the card that lets you reset a support. So he's going to get a double use out of Falcon this turn. Um, I go to roll damage, get zero damage, of course. Um, Falcon rolls the special. He, I think he's going to scavenge off this, if I remember right. I just know that um, there was no loop in the yard yet, which I was happy about. Um, so I was able to roll in IG. I still had some time to get things done that needed to get done. And, uh, IG lets me down. Um, doesn't do, uh, what I want here. I have no rerolls left. So all I can do is really back up muscle, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to, I, I'm looking at the dice that he has out and I'm going, I, I need to get the battlefield back in order to get an advantage over the loop. So I'm going to use backup muscle. That's going to be my last action. I know he's not done using things here. So like I, I knew that I had the opportunity at least presented to um, kind of take the battlefield early. I don't think he's going to leave that Falcon out there unattended. So I have one more die to resolve, I believe. Uh, maybe I take the battlefield here. Yep, I do. And I resolve a special on IG. And in this case, I get a flamethrower out. And again, this was a tough call. But ultimately, like I felt like I needed four damage to kill Maz. Three damage, maybe. Um, you know, I could have probably gone with the Vibro Knuckles. It would have given me a better shot. Because at least there's three damage sides. And the minimum damage output is two. And the maximum is three. With the backup muscle and only needing three to Maz. It's probably a mistake to do the flamethrower, but you know, uh, again, first game, learning a little bit as I retrospectively look at the game, I, I see some of the mistakes that I made that could uh, raise the output and ceiling of this deck, and uh, I'm definitely going to be playing more of it. I'm going to be putting more content on uh, YouTube for everybody to see with this deck. I've also got a couple of other decks I'll be showcasing over the next couple of weeks. But, um, I, I mean, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with uh, this deck. I tried this deck with a TIE Pilot to begin and using training and ultimately found it to just be a little too slow. It dealt a lot of damage. Um, but it, it was done in such a way that uh, once IG was down, TIE Pilot just can't do anything. He's all modified sides. He's just not that great of a card. Um in that scenario. So my opponent's got the three resources. I know he's going to loop. Uh, I'm almost positive. He's got to have loop by now. If he doesn't, I, I may just win, but, um, you know, that's, that's just the nature of this game. So I think I rolled quite a bit of damage. Yep. He's watching for it. He loops out. I'm like, okay, I can't do anything about that. Now the loops in the, the yard, but I know what he's going to be trying to do is Falcon, uh, he's going to be trying to Falcon loop, uh, you know, for the rest of the game until he can essentially win. But he lost his Planetary Uprisings. I was so shocked he discarded Planetary Uprising here. Maybe he felt like he couldn't win the game fast enough. But to me, that was a that was an interesting problem because, uh, you know, I mean, it was just like, well, I, I didn't I didn't quite understand it, uh, you know, and so I, I roll some damage here again, not a ton, but uh, it's enough. So I've got I only got to do three. IG's got a two side and a three side. So if IG rolls his three, my opponent just loses. He doesn't. I can't electroshock the three discard, but I can. He doesn't like you. So I take the IG special, I think, away because I want the flamethrower still around. Yep. And um, Basically, what that's doing is, uh, you know, it's forcing my opponent to take another action to do this, which is spend a resource, reset the Falcon. Can't roll it, which is helpful for me because I can do two damage. And then if he doesn't have any way to heal Maz here, like if he doesn't have a, he a field medic to heal Maz, I basically, I can win. And this is what's going to happen. I, he rolls out um, and I 
backup muscle, and that's GG. So I'm unnerved, and this is Unnerved Gaming Network. I'll be doing more Star Wars Destiny. I also Twitch stream uh, Destiny, uh, Destiny the video game on my PS4. For, uh, usually once a week, we raid on Thursday nights. I D3 stream pretty consistently. I'm playing Season 10 as a wizard. Uh, you know, if you like games and you want to follow me, that would be much appreciated. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if uh, you want to see more content from me or stay up to date on it, I would love it if you'd hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll see you next time.